Okay, so let's take a look at Poplet. Once you've gone to poplet.com, click on Login in the top right corner. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and click on Sign Up. Otherwise, enter your email for your username and your password and click Login. If you've created any Poplets before, you'll see those listed here. Um, let, go ahead for this project, click on Make a New Poplet, and you're going to want to name it something. Um, I would recommend it naming whatever kind of project you're working on. And then you'll notice you can also pick a color as well if you want to customize your poplet, and then make it so. So this is your main poplet canvas. Uh, note you can also change the color on here as well if you want to. I'm um, just going to go ahead and stick with red. To create your first concept, you're going to double click in the middle of the screen and then you're going to type in uh, whatever it is that you want to start with. I would recommend for this assessment project, brainstorming, to go ahead and put in the learning outcome that you want to focus on for your particular scenario. When you have the initial box selected, then you can click on the little gray circle and pull out to create a new box. So. The way I would do this is I would start thinking about some of the different activities that I could have students engage in to help accomplish this particular learning outcome. So I'm going to go ahead and type that into the box here. Just to, to get myself thinking again, remember it's brainstorming. I'm going to maybe come up with another type of activity um, that I could have students do to help accomplish this particular learning outcome and again to help me sort of think about ways that I could assess that. Now since this is a focusing on instructional technologies um, I will show you you know here you can move these little boxes around really wherever you want but it would be useful also to start brainstorming some different technologies that are available to help you accomplish these particular activities. So um, again, if you are wanting to create a little outreach off one of these individual uh, nodes, make sure that one's selected and then pull the little gray circle out from there. So just maybe brainstorm two or three different tools that you could use for these particular activities. So maybe for this one, you know, we could use Padlet. Um, even, you know, Poplet could be an option as well. For this other activity, I may use something like Pull Everywhere for polling or have students collaborate on a Google Doc. It's really up to you. And I do want to point out too, it can be a little confusing what you've got going on here. So you can actually color code these little uh, concepts, these little bubbles, by clicking on the bubble and clicking on the colored outline there. So maybe have all of your tech tools a certain color, have all of your assessment um, activities or engagement activities another color, and then you've got your learning outcome there in the middle. And again, these are very fluid, so you can move these things around just as much as you want to. So the other thing you're going to want to be able to do is actually share this with me and the class. So you've got a couple ways that you can go about that. The first thing you want to do under the share button is click make poplet public and make sure you choose the option that makes the poplet public, but it won't actually show up um, in the main public database. So once you've done that, click on the little link icon and then it will give you a link that you can copy and paste into the discussion board for this week so we can all take a look. This is also where you would find the embed code or you could email the public to myself or to a fellow librarian something like that. Um, also, if you wanted to add someone to actually collaborate and add to the poplet as well, you could add their name under Add Collaborator. It just will send them an email. So as soon as you've finished brainstorming and adding your ideas to your poplet, go ahead and copy that link and add it into the discussion board and be sure to ask if you have any questions.